here is that she looks pregnant. Yeah? The evidence we have of that is her... Wait, let me double check that. illusion of pregnancy but she is not pregnant there we go do i put that i highlight that potential food waste okay so why did she do it then so she's controlling this narrative She's made herself look pregnant, but she isn't pregnant. How does, do we know why? I don't think. Really offer us a number for her. So like, I guess she's taking advantage, advantage of how we see the human How body. is she? How is she doing that? You've made this claim that she's taken advantage of how we see it. Conventional, how is she take, like, body Just quickly, language. though. How is she taking advantage of it? And how do we usually see it? You're putting out two claims. You need to qualify both of them. I have to qualify both. You're saying one claim that she's questioning it and one claim that she's... I might be more researching this, but, like... Okay, so then we need to put the question. Then we just put them in here. Just because I think... Society views women in two, two ways, um, either like for as sexual option, objects or for reproduction. Right? That's their main like two purposes. Okay, so that's what you're saying. You're suggesting that it could be that she's present. She's choosing her narrative. The narrative she's choosing is to present herself as unclothed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. her own narrative where she looks pregnant yeah yeah the posture has illusion of pregnancy the reason she's done this we're not sure yeah. so we need to find out whether that's what that is okay does that make sense if it's like a quote like oh i did this because yeah we or can't find it. then you have to work, figure out whether or not you've got enough evidence to prove the point point. and remember evidence can be inside or outside of the canvas yeah Okay, next point. Both use an idealization through the artist and the viewer's gaze. So you're saying, if we're saying the question is, is there a definition? You're saying no, def no distinction. To us. Yes. Yeah? So you're not saying definition. You're saying, is there a difference? Potentially. I said distinction. You said, what is the definition? What is the distinction between? Oh, I wrote a different. What is the distinction? Sorry, I wrote a different. It's okay. Okay. So what is the distinction between naked and nude in art? Yeah? Both use an idealized through the artist and viewer's gaze. Give me proof. How do you know? So we go early, okay? So this is nude, I think. Huh? I think it's nude. So you're quite, you're saying. Actually, I'm not saying. Mm. Because, like, how I see nude is like appreciate for appreciation. You're, what I need to know here. Idealization to the artist and viewer's gaze. You're giving me this. So you're saying a naked figure is still idealized. So every single time a woman is unclothed, they're presenting an idealized version. I would t entirely disagree with that. Look at contemporary art forms. Okay. So I'm concerned slightly that you're doing too broad a question that means that there's so many loops that are going to be left open. Okay. okay? 
So you need to be specific. Even if you just look at one art, one artist that you like from this body, like pick. Body. Let me finish the sentence. <laughs> pick Modigliani, for example, okay. and then use these to say in this piece, the same posture is used to suggest this. But by the figure looking down rather than looking at you, there's a distinction between naked and nude. This one I would say is nude because it's this, this, and this. This one isn't nude because the figure's looking at you. They're, they're challenging, they're challenging your, your gaze. Okay. Yeah. They're challenging your gaze. They're challenging what you're saying. Yeah? I think what will happen is you'll have too many open loops. So if I read this and you said the idealised viewer's gaze, I'd be like, well, then someone like Jenny Savile would be neither naked nor nude because she's not presenting an idealised. Okay. She's questioning what idealised is. Okay. Yeah? Okay. So that's the problem with doing this. You, I would say use his, use his definitions. Yes, which yes. definition would best apply to the work of? So I look at two critics who present two different. You can do if you want. Yeah. Is that what you're suggesting? I'm saying you look at one definition. Okay. And one artist. Uh huh. And say the pieces by this artist would they be naked or nude? Do it, yeah. Don't make it difficult, do it well. Okay. Yeah. Would that make sense? Mm -hmm. Would you feel that you could do that within your research? Yeah. Yeah? yeah? You could look at a movement as well. So you could look at like the cubists. Oh, Picasso did the, the thing. The, that one, what is it called? It's yeah. the fancy one. Guernica? It's another one. Demoiselle yeah. d'Avignon? Mm -hmm. It's the not English one. The pro <laughs> <laughs> You know this is being recorded, Kat. The prostitutes? The pointy prostitutes that Ruben looked at? Yeah. Demoiselle d'Avignon. Okay, so you can look at that one. Are these are these images of these... Do did did Picasso's cubist representations of female, are they naked or nude? Or Modigliani's females? Does he present, a na does he present figures as naked or nude? Mm. And you can use, for example, this idea of a self-portrait because he is always presenting his interpretation of a figure as an outsider as a male his gaze is always going to be different do you know what i mean so then shouldn't it be two art like would two artists work better than one i in terms of your essay use one artist so i contrast it with them yes ah, like so a this is the one. yeah use one okay. so this image yeah, and then we say yes, like this one, or no, like this one. Uh, or we say yes because of these words, or no because of these words. Does that make sense? Because it's Yeah. So let's have a look at it again. I don't know if you can see. It's like yeah, little, little smiley faces, lots and boobs. Just little boobs. There we go. Lovely boobs. Okay, there you go. <laughs> so, <laughs> you're saying... <laughs> okay, so the question could be... And this is what, this is what you're supposed to do at this stage. You're supposed to say, I'm not answering that question. Which yeah. is why I started with the question. That's not the question I'm answering. I've got a lot of research that answers this question. I've got a lot of research that doesn't answer this question. And I'm maybe more attached to the research, the evidence that doesn't match the question, yeah. than I am to the evidence that does match the question. Okay. Maybe I need to look at answering a different, maybe I can answer a different question better than the question I first set out with. Yeah? At the moment, I'm not sure if you're answering the question, because your question is, what is the definition between naked and nude and art? 
and that would suggest that you bring in loads of different definitions and loads of different art stuff. I, I don't think you have in three thousand five hundred words. You've opened a bigger loop than you're closing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you're kind of doing this in three thousand five hundred words. Yeah. Maybe even this. Okay. And then this is the big bit that they can't answer. So you want to say. In my 3,500 words, I'm going to take you all the way from the beginning to the end of the argument. 3,500 words done. I don't want to take you Yeah, I'll be like... Here's seven other things that I haven't been able to really identify because I haven't got space in the essay. So if we define, if we pull it down, you're probably more likely to be able to close that loop. Pictures. So what would our new question be then, for example? And we can still use these, yeah? Is No. How? Yeah, is. Is. This person's work. Is. Or does. Does this artist present women or just figures? Do I put the name of the figure? Does so and so present women as naked or nude, according to the definition of by Berger, in these pictures or in these years, this time period, this movement? Um, can I label? Yeah. Movement. So I pick one. Yeah. Smaller, 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 smaller. Close the loop. Does that make sense? Does that feel close? Does that feel like something you could answer? Yeah. And do you feel like you've got evidence there? I'm not saying you need to get rid of any of this evidence. Okay. I'm just saying we need to use it better. If your question's too weak, you can't use it. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah? Yeah. Because I, I was also worried about my question. Which is why is it like this is why I like to stop at this point and go, all right, am I doing that? Okay, so let's have a look at who, who do you think you could, let's see, if the only, let's see if these points still work. So, so Berger suggests, does Berger suggest that naked leads the objectification of women as sexual objects? Naked, no. What does Berger suggest? Naked is to be oneself. So nude would be to, yeah? Nude would be yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's the point you're making. So, Berger suggests. Berger suggests this. Yeah. Do you agree? So let's have a look at. Do you think you've got a body of work by one artist that we could explore? Do you want to look at Mane? Look at Mane. We can look at Mane. Or we can look at... Actually, never mind. The self-portrait could be the supporting... Yeah. Aspect. So you could look at any any figure. So like this supporting... So Medigliani? Yeah. Sorry, not... um yeah. Any figure that is... I just want to see their work. Huh? I just want to see... They all look exactly the same to me. <laughs> look at Man look at Manet's nose. 